Hello and welcome to our new track description video here on the Pure Racing Team channel. My name again is Maximilian Manecki and today we're going to take one lap on the Philomartin circuit with the BMW Z4. I think it's the overall best car here on this track, maybe together with the Ford GT which also has a lot of downforce. Now we're having a closer look on the first corner. And as you can see, I'm not very much on the brakes. It's around 10% because you don't want the car to oversteer in the entry. So now take the corner as tight as possible in the fifth gear and going up into sixth gear. But then there is another brake point, which is around, yeah, it's, it's hard to say. It's around, uh, yeah, where you go into the sixth gear again. So just uh, take your time and practice a lot to uh, find the perfect break point for this corner. And this corner is exactly the same as the first corner. Take it as tight as possible, stay at the curb, and then you, after around yeah maybe five to six seconds, you can see that the curb on the left-hand side stops. And this, this is the point where you can start to accelerate your car again. But be sure to accelerate it slowly. Don't go too fast on your throttle because otherwise your car will oversteer and you will use, lose the car and maybe also the race or your qualifying session or whatever. So just be patient. All right, we're now coming to this little straight, going up in the fourth and fifth gear. In the end, we'll be in the sixth gear, but we're coming close to a hard break point, which is around 120 meters before the next corner. As you can see, I'm now at around 90% on the brakes, so it's uh, yeah a very hard brake point. You have to slow the car down to around 70 kilometers an hour. And now take a look at this corner. I don't go too wide on the on the right hand side curb because this corner is very tight and the exit is also not giving you much space. So just make sure to take all the exit speed which is available. Now the next corner is exactly the same as turn two. You have to give your car a little bit of space from the left-hand side curb to accelerate as fast as possible and um, yeah, to gain as much speed as possible. The next straight also has a little corner, little right-hand corner, but you can take this with full throttle, it's no problem. And now we again have a left-hand corner, which is yeah, nearly the same as turn two where you have to be as tight to the curb as possible on the left-hand side, because otherwise you could go into the grass on the right side. So also make sure to have your car under control when braking, which means don't brake too much, because otherwise you could have oversteer and lose your car. So be patient and try to control your car through the whole corner. As you can see, I'm very close to the corner because this is needed for the next corner and as you can see the break point is around 55 to 60 meters and we again have a very slow corner you drive it with around yeah maybe 70 kilometers an hour and make sure to take this corner very tight on the right side because the next corner will turn left and so you have to be prepared for taking the next corner as fast as possible because you need to car to accelerate very fast to gain as much speed as possible for the upcoming start finish line or straight. As you can see, staying on the right and then we again focus on the end of the left hand curb because this is the point where you can go on your throttle again. But also be patient, don't go on your throttle too fast so that the car is stable and you can have the maximum speed out of this corner. Now it's important to get as much speed out of the last corner and as you can see I'm going for about half a second from the throttle which is absolutely necessary for not getting on the grass on the right side of the exit of the last corner. And yeah, this was one lap on the Fibber Island circuit and now you can enjoy the video again but without me commentating and I hope you have a lot of fun and if so just leave a like or comment below. Maybe also a subscription. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.